you damn dirty egg. Dwarf, Leprechaun, Munchkin, Brownie, Lilliputian, Gnome, Minikin, Nanoid, Pipsqueak, Pygmy, Runt, Shrimp. No matter what you call them, midgets have fascinated and horrified mankind for centuries. Yet after all this time, very little is known about them. Here at Midget Hunt, we seek to uncover the secrets and debunk the myths about these mysterious creatures. Join us, won't you? Recently, I had the opportunity to speak with Jeff Schreiber, a man who had a close encounter with a midget in his younger days. Despite the passage of time, he is still haunted by the horrific memories his mind cannot erase. It was uh, truly frightening. In a One night during a bad thunderstorm, Jeff and his wife were driving home to San Antonio. On the outskirts of town, they saw what appeared to be a little girl standing by the side of the road in the pouring rain. Naturally feeling sympathetic, they pulled over to offer the girl a ride. When she got into the car, they realized this was no ordinary little girl. This was a midget. Once they reached town, their car ran out of gas. The midget said she'd get them some gas money and waddled off down the street. In what was at the time a very unsavory uh, part of the town. Later, she returned with gas money she had earned by pleasuring indiscriminate men in a nearby alley. A frightening story indeed, but there's more. This next story may be completely unrelated, but the similarities cannot be ignored. This is a true story. It happened to a friend of my cousin. He was in a pub trying to meet girls, but he wasn't having much luck. And he spots this female midget sitting at the end of the bar, so he figures, what the heck, I'll try my luck with her. Well, it doesn't take too many drinks to get someone that size drunk. So before you knew it, they were headed back to his place. Well, the next morning he wakes up and she's not there. He figures, you know, she must have woke up, snuck out while he was sleeping in the middle of the night. Then he gets up, not knowing that during the night he must have rolled over in his sleep and well, it was just horrible. That should never happen to anybody like what did. Oh God! We can't confirm the details of the story, but wasn't it creepy? I thought I was gonna puke. Anyway, join us next week when we travel south of the border to investigate the midget cobra or dwarf sucker. Until then, I'm Scott Jones, and this has been Midget Hunt. What are you doing, Dork? Nothing, hon. What are you doing, huh? You look suspicious. You're up to something. <laughs> nah. You're not gonna ruin Bethany's party, are you? No, 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 maybe. I mean, I just invited another person, a guest. Everyone is here. Not everyone. I mean, like, no party's complete without a clown. be complete without a clown, and the bestest clown in town is Zombo, the undead clown. He's the clown who won't stay down. <laughs> Yay! Hey, Dork. What was that?
Shining jewel of the heavens and envy of mysterious forces who seek to do us harm. In the future, the only thing standing in their way is a small band of brave astral cowboys dedicated to defending the Earth from a myriad of outer space near New Wells. From their ranch house on the moon, these three selfless heroes work tirelessly to protect humankind from the dangers of the future. So come with us now as we saddle up for blast off. It's time for. Tex Orman and his Cosmic Cowpokes! Yeah. 